afternoon and welcome to this week's episode of Think Tank Thursday. My name is Candy Kelly and I am your host this week. Before we jump in, I got to give a shout out to our 2022 Think Tank partners. Um, you see them on the side there. We've got Party Center Software, Betson, Embed, Simnox, and Redemption Plus. This is the last episode of 2022. So thank you so much to all of them for allowing us to bring this to you every week. And a lot of them are signed back on for 2023, so that's exciting. We're also accepting applications for our 2023 sponsors right now. So if you have a question about that, you can just email me, uh, candy at trainerentertainment.net, and I'll get you connected with Sonia, who's overseeing that. So super excited for that. We've had a great year of think tanks, and it's all because of those great partners that we have in the industry. So on Thursdays, we all know Trainer Entertainment likes to get away from the doing, and it's been busy. Christmas season is always so busy for us. The holidays, the New Year's, the big thing is kids are out, and so that's why we're so busy. They're out of school, but we got to spend some time thinking, especially as we get this turn for the new year. And so we are going to spend that time thinking with a great guest today, and we're so excited because Trainer Entertainment spent some time thinking and brought this guest you know, on and a part of our team. So why don't you take a few minutes to tell everyone who you are and what it is that you do? Hey, everybody. Thank you very much for having me, Candy. My name is Jerome Miles. I am the new field director over here at Trent Entertainment. So I'm excited to be here. It's my first time on Think Tank. So yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yes. Um, my best. I'm sorry. Uh, Go ahead. Now, we are so excited uh, to have you. We did some thinking. We said this was the year we needed a sales director, and we went. And Jerome um, came with a great background. And uh, let's jump into what is your background? How did you yeah. come to find us? So, well, you know, I I was, um, you know, I have a, a strong sales background. I've been in sales for since my first job when I was a uh, selling subscription for a newspaper when I was a young kid. So I've all, I, I was born to, to sell. Now. It's funny. But I started my my career in, you know, the uh, the entertainment world or the, uh, the family entertainment business with uh, Boston Bowl and Boston Bowl Hanover in uh, Massachusetts. I was uh, a proud sales uh, marketing director there for 10 years, a little under 10 years, but uh, had a great time there. Learned all the ins and outs in the business, really got to you know, um, I got mentored by a couple of very good industry leaders that really a uh, gentleman named Ray Tuttle that helped me uh, get acclimated to the business. And here I am, excited to be here. Took a little time off. Uh, took a little time off. I took two years off uh, and I uh, got involved in some of the diversity and inclusion, learned a little bit about diversity and inclusion. And I was working in that space and uh, which I think is in a very important, a very organization. So I'm excited to bring the knowledge from there. And then everything from Boston Bowl and all the fun things we did there here to trying to say it to help all you guys. Awesome. Little side note for uh, any of you who are loyal Think Tank watchers, one of my favorite Think Tanks that we've ever done was Beth with a gentleman who has worked at Boston Bowl for how many years had Louie worked there? Uh, Louis, he was one of the, he was the original, he helped build it. So he's been there, he was since 50, 1952, I think they opened. So he's been there the entire time. So yeah. you'll have to go back in the Think Tank archives if you have not seen, seen that. It is the way that Louie from Boston Bowl loves people and how that shows up and guest service. It is a guest service lesson that everyone should take to their team. Yeah, he's special. He's special. I had the pleasure of working with a lot of great people over there. I had a, you know, really built my career there. They treated me like royalty. They were a great family. Um, you know, I just, you know, it was an exciting time, but I'm happy where I am now and ready to, you know, grow here and help help our team become very successful and make every, help other people, you know, help other people. Awesome. Now, what about the trainer entertainment job posting compelled you to apply? Well, at the time, you know, I was, I was looking, I, I had, I was out of the entertainment or the, you know, the family entertainment business for a little bit and um, I missed it. <laughs> I really miss the the uh, the fun of it, you know, because that's what we sell. We sell fun. Mm -hmm. you know, we work in a fun business. So I was I was looking, uh, you know, I was trying to figure out how to get back in, but I had relocated to um, I'm living down in Florida now, and I was really looking for something that I could, you know, get out and explore and meet new people. And I I saw the job. I you know I felt like I was a really good fit. I had a lot of the experience. You know, I have known. Uh, I was actually a product of Train Entertainment at first day. Uh, I took some of the training in my uh, last year of Boston Bowl. Even there, I sat through some of the training. So I just knew what they were all about. I knew that they helped people. And, you know, I just felt like I wanted to be a part of that. 
it's great. We always talk, you know, in the industry about there are people, you either love it for life or it's not the thing for you. Yeah. There's almost no middle ground people. And so when people get out of it and they do go try something else like you did, you're like, well, this is fine, but there's an element missing because yeah. we are in such a business of fun and bringing memories to people and that personal connection is always there. And so it's hard to find that in all in a lot of other um career yeah. opportunities yeah and it's such a cool space too like everybody you know it's 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 as big as it is it's still small so you mm -hmm. know you still it's still a very small space so um you know everybody in it is everybody's positive it's just all good vibes through the whole business you know bowl expo and i have uh, everybody I, I meet in the industry is, is always very happy and pleasant and excited i mean everybody has their days like everything yes. else you know but you know all in all it's uh it's good now, um, you come from the bowling sector of the entertainment um, yes. industry, and so this past November, you got your first ever taste of IAPA, correct? You've gone I to did. bowling expos, but not in IAPA yes. in the past. Yes, IAPA was uh, it was an incredible experience. I mean, it, the size of it was was unbelievable to me, and just to see all the different kinds of businesses that are involved, from water parks to, you know, everything and every in between you know roller coasters everything it was just it was awesome and uh, to meet the people such great people and you know a lot of family-owned businesses and then a lot of big companies too you know we got to talk to and learn about how they do things and how we might be able to help them so yeah it was an incredible experience yeah, I want to commend you because one of the things I totally noticed about you at IAPA is that it can be overwhelming. There's so many people walking by the booth yeah. people, and people have a pattern at IAPA that first day they go and see everything that they can as quick. And then later they'll like make lists and then come back to the people they want to talk to a lot of times. But like right. you did such a great job of like recognizing they had on something like a shirt of something from Boston or their name or something like that so that you could connect with people such in a quick manner and draw them in. It was so awesome to watch. Well, I appreciate that. That's one of the things I've learned to do. Even, you know, it's as simple as it is, just read the name tag. Like even when I go to the grocery store and I say hello to the cashier, I always read their name tag first and, and call it by, you know, say, hey, Joe, how you doing today? How's your day going? And they always look at me a little surprised and like they forget they have it all. They forget. You know? Yeah, and I'm like, it's only name tag. But yeah, I think, you know, that 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 builds a connection with people for sure, you know, recognizing that stuff. And, you know, I've, I've always been that way. I, I'm a people person for sure. Yeah, I totally noticed that. Um, so, Jerome, what was your very first job? A uh, real job or like? Well, yeah, teenage I mean my, job, like whatever. My, my first, first, first job was I was a newspaper boy. I was a paper boy. And then I actually worked with the district manager and helped him sell home subscriptions. And that's how I really started my sales, believe it or not. And then from there, I actually went to work at that newspaper. And I was at that newspaper for 19 years. I, yeah, I started first at, job to my first years. job. I started as a paper boy. I moved into the mailroom. Then I worked into circulation. And then I, by the time I left, I was the senior account executive for the automotive department for the company. So yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah, it was, I was there a long time. It was a newspaper business. And at the time I, you know, left it, the whole business was changing because the internet was just yeah. evolving. Yeah. So, and that's when I made my journey over to Boston Bowl. And that was, uh, probably the best decision of my life because it changed my life totally kills my next question because you know i like to ask people from their very first job usually it's just like you know working takeout yeah. or a server <laughs> job or something like that i was going to ask you oh. what lesson did you learn that you've carried through your life but 19 years you have a multitude of lessons that you've yeah carried. oh i think the biggest one was <laughs> just you know uh, my biggest thing is always a commitment to the company and believing behind what they're doing and mm -hmm. you know that that was a great business. They treated me great. It was um, I learned a ton about marketing and just media in general. Um, so I took a lot of that marketing and sales experience, and you know took that to Boston Bowl and implemented some of those things that you might not think might work, but a general across sales, right? So it was it was a it was a great time there. You know, I see a lot of the people now if I see them on Facebook and stuff. You know, the a lot of them were old timers now because I was the young kid then. So, <laughs> A lot of them are old timers, but it, it, it's great to see them. And, you know, uh, I, it was a great time in my life. For sure. That is a crazy statistic. Like, yeah. just think that you have had four, like, really four main counting trainer payment. This one that you came from, like the newspaper, Austin Bowl, um, the magazine that you came from, and then yep. trainer entertainment. That's it. That's it. 
That's it. I, you know, I usually where I stay, I, I really work hard and build myself and, you know, and I, I get attached and love what I do. And that's, that's another reason why I love working in, in smaller groups. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I like really being a part of the team. Um, you know, so that's one good thing about being with, with, uh, you know, a, a, a smaller company like ours. So, you know, you, you get more say and you get more involvement, which is, I'm, I'm, I'm like that. I love to be involved. That's Make very, that's happen. a very cool thing that I just learned about you. So that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, what, so who is one person and I'm surprised Beth, Beth may have already asked you this and just some other thing. Cause she does this when she's digging for core values with people, but who is one person, it can be living, dead, historical, fictional, real. It doesn't matter that inspires you. And how do you bring that inspiration like to your life? Mm. Well, I, I could say, I'm going to say first and foremost, my mother. Um, I, I think personally, my, my I'm going to have a professional and okay. personal and professional. Perfect. Because uh, cause per, personal, my mother, um, you know, I grew up with a, a single mother and uh, she's just always helped me get through things and taught me like every other, everybody else's mom really showed me the direction and, and, and how to keep things together during challenges that you have through your life. So. I, I'm very inspired by her and her ability, or you know, to overcome things. So mm -hmm. in my life, I've always tried to use that to do that. So, and I still weigh on her all the time. We talk every day. So, uh, and then professionally, I, I really have to say, in in terms of for this business, um, Ray Tuttle um, was a consultant that when I first came in, I used to write for Bowling Music Magazine. He was a marketing guy. Um, he uh, he brought me into Boston Bowl when they hired me at Boston Bowl. He was brought. To, to help with the hiring process. And he actually stayed there. Uh, I worked with him for two years after I was there, met with him weekly, he coached me and, and really helped me, he coached me and, and showed me the ins and outs, took me to my first bowl East Coast show down in uh, Atlantic City and introduced me to some of the players. And, you know, so it, it, professionally, he's a, he was an inspiration because he had, he had longevity. He was very well known. He just, he was, he was smart about how we did things. So I really, you know, take some of his things and really use it when I'm, when I'm approaching, you know, sales or strategies and stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Very, so, very good. Um, so we're at the turn of the year. What are you most excited about in 2023? Uh, 2023. You'll uh, have a move, right? You're getting ready to move. Yes, yes, yes. I'm moving. Um, I'll be moving next week, which is, uh, which is very cool. I didn't realize it was that soon. Wow. Yeah. Yes, that's soon. I'll be moving next week. So I'm excited about that. Well, uh, a great community out in, uh, in Florida. Um, next year, I'm really focused on, you know, I'm going to be real honest with you, just working hard, just focusing on, um, you know, working with customers and, and, and building relationships with customers and, you know, working to help grow our side and, and grow our coaching and help more people. So I'm really excited about, you know, our plans and what we have as a team ready to go. And, you know, uh, 2023 is going to be a great year. We already have your first event of 2023, right? You're going to um, BPA Midwinter Summit in Savannah. Yes, in Savannah, yes. So I will be up there um, spending some time, coming out, visit. Come If you're coming, come visit. Uh, I don't have the dates written in front of me. Uh. <laughs> so go, if you have not met Jerome yet, then, you know, there's a good opportunity, especially, or if you do know Jerome, this happened at IAPA too from the bowling. And then he went away from two, for two years, right? He disappeared yeah. from everybody. Right, well, he'll right. be back. And that's yeah. January 15th through 17th. It's Midwinter Summit. Um, and it's happening in Savannah, Georgia this year. So yeah. yeah so we'd love to, I'd love for you guys to come by and say hello. I'd love to, you know, there's some people that um, that watch this that, you know, we might have spoken on the phone or I've shot you an email. Um, definitely come by and say hello. You know, I'd love to, I'm looking to meet new people and see what I can do to help you. You know? He came on to Train Entertainment, and you guys know Beth has been around for a long time. So there's a big list of people that he'd love to put faces to some names yes. that he keeps looking yes. at. <laughs> and I hear a lot of names too. And I'm yeah. some of them are starting to stick, but you know, it's still I'm I'm, I'm still, learning. still learning. Everybody is Beth's good friend in this industry. It's very, very true. Well, <laughs> Beth knows every Beth. She she knows everybody for sure. So, yes. which is a great thing, you know. It is great. Um, all right. In Think Tank, we have some signature questions that we'd like to ask every guest. Um, so yeah. um, what do you do on a consistent basis to grow yourself, Jerome? Um, I, I, one of the biggest things I do is I constantly evaluate myself, okay? 
I, I really, you know, take a, a look at myself and I do that by, I don't want to say measuring, but I look at some of the things that I want to accomplish and, and, and things that I need to accomplish. I, I log a lot of stuff. I take a lot of notes. Um, I follow a lot of my notes. Um, you know, I, 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 I'm a people person, so I talk to a lot of people. I'm always trying to gain more information and, and meet people to get more information. I, I, I would say I'm a, a big reader, but I'm not a huge reader. I'm a listener. So it's I okay. listen I'm to, a podcast listener. So yeah, like, yeah, I don't I'm a listener. A so I listen to a lot and, and, you know, really try to just store, store a lot of information uh, to, to help myself grow. I mean, I, I think I'm always growing, uh, you know, every year it seems to be what I thought I knew, I've learned something that changes it. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. I have uh, I have four beautiful children that, that are teaching me a lot about what the world's like right now. Where you know, getting older, you, you start to separate yourself a little bit yeah. from that. But they they definitely keep me keep me young. So I would say, yeah, just just monitor myself and and kind of keep myself in check a little bit. You know, that's 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 how I grow. Yeah. Yeah. And I to add to that too, I think I think I, I've grown up through a lot of things that I've been through too, like everybody else, right? Mm -hmm. Things and challenges that come your way, you get through them, you figure out, and you grow from that. So, so yeah, yeah. If you aren't reflecting on things you make your make it through, then you're wasting a definite opportunity for growth there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. The flip side of that is, what do you feel like you do on a consistent basis to help others grow? Um. I try to share a lot, you know, I try to try to share things that I've learned and, you know, if, if there's, um, if there's opportunities, you know, I have a lot of friends that do different things. Mm -hmm. Um, if there's opportunities that I have, I've, you know, I've had different, um, people that I know that I brought into, you know, different, uh, marketing campaigns or whatever I can do to help. Um, yeah. I always try to share research, share resources. And obviously if, if there's knowledge that I have, I would always, you know, share those things. So, you know, through service, things like that, just through helping people and trying to stay involved. A lot of times, you know, you you separate, a lot of people separate themselves from, from challenges. I kind of migrate towards it because I like to figure things out, so. Got it. So. Um, I would be amiss if I let us get off here without highlighting something that you said earlier, and I think this is a great time. One of the things you were doing before you came to Train Entertainment and helping others grow was very focused on a very um, important topic of today's yeah. uh, so talk yeah. a little bit about that, what you did and kind of what it, how you shared that with the world. Yeah, yeah. So I worked for a company called uh, Color Magazine and the, um, it was focused on diversity and inclusion, which we worked with different organizations across all different industries uh, and worked with their HR departments or their diversity and inclusion leaders and um, created different events throughout the, throughout the country that brought them together for leadership training, for thought, you know, thought different uh, speaking opportunities, different ways that they can learn from different practices from each other. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, DE and I is over the over the past few years, obviously, has become a much more upfront and personal 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 thing to a lot of people. Um, a lot of human resources uh, departments have just started to implement things that that really get around LBGT, you know women's rights, equal pay, uh, black and brown people, and, and everything that has to do with that. So we really worked hard to, to spread that good word. I met some incredible people um, that were involved in that and had um, some opportunities to, to be at some events that were extremely inspirational from some um, very educated ed, educated leaders that really you know focused their entire lives, um, really just devoted to making sure that these things are happening in their organizations or to spread it to others. So it's definitely an important thing to me in today's mm -hmm. day and age. So um, it was a great experience. I, 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 um, I, I got very educated on it. A lot of things that, I, you know, I knew what DE and I was, but I didn't really know what it was until I was in it and understood it. So if you haven't done any research on that, you should. And I'm sure at some point uh, we're going to be sharing yep. some of that information as well. We so. definitely want to tap into that resource. I know um, I'll have to find this podcast I listened to, Jerome, that like I felt like I had a decent understanding of it, um, all that stuff. And then I listened to a podcast about someone who was a diversity and inclusion specialist on the set of um, production for a movie. 
and listen to her break down the different things that she had them adjust and change and all of that. And that was the most eye-opening podcast I think yeah. I listened to in terms of that, because it is a lot of things that, you know, I, a normal people may, person may have not thought too much about, or even wouldn't have had an effect on all of the audience. But once it, she changed it, the impact of such a change to the audience was like, you could, you knew it was an impact. And so it was such an interesting, um, to learn a little bit more about that. So I look forward to many conversations yes. of tapping into yeah, yeah. and learning too. Absolutely. And we look forward to sharing that with, yes. with everybody here watching and everybody that works. We'll have to schedule us. a think tank that, you know, some tips for how to, you know, go about that or something like that. So yeah, for sure. I know it's a Definitely. big topic to do in 20 minute segments, but we can find a narrow part of it to share with everyone. Uh, sounds great to me. All right. Well, Thank you so much for taking some time. I know you've been making a ton of calls for us and I've been so grateful, but needed to take some time out so we could introduce you to everybody. Um, where can people find you? If they want to connect, where do you want to send them, Jerome, to connect? Yes, you? yes, yes. You can you can reach me at uh, Jerome at trainentertainment.com. Shoot me an email. If, um, if you go to the website, you can schedule a growth call with me. Mm -hmm. uh, if you'd like to talk and learn more about how we can help you and what programs we have available, uh, we have options for everybody every size every budget we have something for you that we can we can share and help you so give me a call and if uh you, you're at one of the shows definitely come up say hi i would love to meet you i'm trying to meet everybody i can um and i'm so happy to be here thank you all for having me um yeah yeah i'm gonna make yeah, one small awesome. adjustment it's trainertainment.net you said that ah. it'll take a while it'll take a while for that to just roll off your tongue i do it all the time i do it all the time trainertainment.net Jerome yeah. at trainertainment.net Yes, and um, we that's where you can hit him. Like I said, his next event would be um, BPAZ, BPAA's Midwinter Meeting, January 15th through 17th in Savannah, Georgia. But yes. you can also, the probably easiest way, go to trainertainment.net, the website, schedule a growth call. That's going directly to Jerome now. So you can get on his calendar and just chat with him. You may have a question about diversity and inclusion. You may have a question about one of the pro programs that Trainertainment offers, but he is available to talk. And to be yes, I would love to talk to you. I would love to talk to you. Awesome. Well, thank you, Jerome, for your time today. And I will let you get back to it. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you. Thanks, Candy. Have a great day. At Train Entertainment, we are thrilled to have Jerome join our team as a director of sales. We hope that you enjoyed meeting him and learning a little bit more about him and keep your eyes open for him at the events in 2023 and other places. So again, thank you to my 2022 digital sponsors. We love them. Um, we are excited for another year coming of Think Tank. We're not slowing down yet. Um, also, if you're interested, like I said, in becoming a sponsor in 2023, please contact Sonia, sonia at trainertainment.net, and she'll be happy to set you up with, um, let you know what your options are, and you can see what you'd like to do. Um, if you have an idea for Think Tank, or with even better, if you want to be a guest and come hang out with me for a little bit as a guest on Think Tank, please email me, candy at trainertainment.net. We'll get that scheduled. I am working to build out my 2023 schedule now. So now is a great time to get on there. And then I hope that each and every one of you had a very happy holiday and are looking forward to the new York year. Bye. Hello, my name is Brittany Betty, and I am the Regional Sales Director and Business Development Manager over at Betson Enterprises. Here at Betson, we are so excited to be a part of Train Entertainment this year. For those of you who are unaware of Betson and what we do, we are the leading distributor of coin-operated equipment, and we are a family-owned business that has been around for 85-plus years. Please take a moment to watch a quick video on an introduction on the phased approach and turnkey solution we can offer you in your facility.
Thank you so much for taking the time for watching. And if you have any questions and would like to reach out to me, I can be reached at my email at bbetty, B-B-E-T-T-I, at betson, B-E-T-S-O-N dot com. Please feel free to reach out to me with any questions or needs you might have in the family entertainment industry, and I would be happy to assist you. Thank you and have a great day. Are you looking for ways to maximize profits and consolidate systems and processes? Join the Party Center Software and Party Center Pay family. Our suite of solutions makes it easy for you to run your family entertainment center or event business. Our online party booking system makes booking parties and events a breeze. Our point of sale system, digital waivers, and reports will help you simplify steps for your staff and make your guest experience seamless. Our online store allows you to sell products, gift certificates, and other services anytime, even when you're sleeping. But it doesn't end there. All of the solutions mentioned connect with our payment processing platform, Party Center Pay, making it easier than ever to manage your business. Not only can Party Center Pay save you money by cutting out extraneous fees, but Party Center Pay makes it easy to take online deposits or full payments, and we even have a contactless payment option. Paired with our incredible support team and dedicated customer success managers, Growing and managing your business has never been easier. Schedule a call with us today to learn more. My wife and I, you know, this is a partnership with her and I, so we both agreed that, you know, in, in creating scary strokes, um, that we want to make sure that we have the best available of everything. You know, embed just seemed like the perfect fit. Like, you know, it was pretty streamlined and had the, the point of sales and the, the software for the redemption. And it just seemed, you know, natural to us. So we've been with embed since, since the very beginning. And so when, uh, when embed, you know, it was introducing the mobile wallet, it seemed like a good opportunity for us to, to jump on. And it's wonderful. I mean, you don't, <laughs> you reload your card from it. You, you know, redeem your tickets from it. There's nothing not to like about it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's very convenient. And it's uh, very clever for sure. Empowering your employees to manage your redemption area with confidence can be a challenge. The redemption counter is often the last stop your customers make before leaving your facility. That's why we do everything we can to help your staff make that experience one worth returning for. Our service packages allow you to reap the benefits of expertise and customer support, no matter where your business is in its maturity. The advanced and pro service bundles are unmatched by any other redemption provider in the industry. They allow you to get the support you need when you need it. Gain confidence in your redemption program, knowing your employees are taking advantage of benefits like exclusive redemption training, regular planogram refreshes, product performance and spending reports, and much more. All accessible from an online portal customized to your business. Learn more at services.redemptionplus.com.